All right, as you know, I got cut off. I got cut off and um, that was because of a timer. Uh, so make sure to watch part three. I would have added this section in that, but yeah. Now this, just saying this, this model will take over an hour to make. Including all the parts, you know. And including part three and part four. You know. Oh, yeah. Um. No, it's wrong. It's not full folding correctly. I want to make sure it's completely popped out. Um, this flap is very tiny, so, uh, just try your best, you know. Inside, reverse fold this as far as you can. You know.
don't forget to do this. This will be the air intakes. It's very thick, like I said. gonna actually unfold that for one minute. I'm gonna fold this big triangle down like that. side it says tuck the area shown inside the model but like just give me a minute to figure that out I don't know what it's talking about but anyway now I'm going to uh Fold the sides out from that point. Ah, it's very thick. It'll make the jet fold a lot easier. You know, but you want to fold really precisely because you want the jet fold to be nice. So it makes the fuselage much easier to shape. you've got that going to uh, fold this side in like that easy fold all right so now the jet fold easier for hold that tip down and yeah, things that you want to the fuselage inside so be careful not to crease way too hard I'll make jet fold look much nicer 
Oh, this looks so much better than my other flanks. Oh, wow, this is a really good attempt. See, the more precise you are, the better. And, you know. I guess the secret to the fuselage is much easier than you think. You don't want to. You don't want to crease it too much. You might want to crease that end. Power. So, yeah. So, make sure the nose is very flat. So, now fold the wings up. are connected to the tail fins. It's a weird model. Remember, this model is not for beginners. Just like any other Jason Mirror model. Also, at the end of this video, I want to show you something inside the book. So uh, yeah. Now, there's one thing though. You can you can request stuff to me, but uh, one thing I really want to tell you is that don't request heavily, since like there's this person that requested a lot. I will. I I promise I will fold. I will make tutorials of that, but I will not do it all at once. I decide, I'm the one to decide when I want to make the models. So it just, inside of this, fold this up. According to this, it says increase the crease that you made in step 41. Wait, just, just give me one minute. I want to see which one. Yeah, oh, okay. So, uh, basically, this is the crease that you made in step 41. Right there. I want to crease from that point. So, basically, before you do that, I'm gonna fold this part up a little bit so that you have preparation for it. So that you can fold this up. Draw up the lead from that point and uh, want the tail fin to be like this. So that you have enough to make the locking mechanism. But, you know. Anyway, so now basically just make the locking mechanism. It's easy. Now be careful when you're doing this, don't go too high, otherwise then the tail fin, it will show the weird locking mechanism things. So just fold this up like that, sort of like on the diamond backo. Honestly, the flanks looks like a diamond backo, except different, you know. And just basically finish up the model. So you can fold the when you're out as well. Just adjust the landing gear.
stays intact. So, I'm all shaping this. Just, just pushing it against this thing. Move it down and kind of pinch the front part tight. And um, you can roll the air intakes like this. Make sure that you fold it out enough to make the air intakes big, like that. So you just wanna roll it like this into the model. And you will need something to shape it. Uh, well, I have an idea. I'm gonna use my Fang missile. This is the one I made in the tutorial. It's uploading. Well, actually, I, I think it finished uploading by the time that this finished uploading. So, and you also want to pinch the end of the air intake, so it won't affect the front. So, um, around the afterburners, it's gonna look sort of like the afterburners in the Griffin A. If you folded the Griffin A before. Kind of like that. And of course you want to pinch this front part so that you can grab the keel to throw it and just to grab them all in general. So uh, now what we're going to do is just fold the landing gear like this. Um, just decide what you want to shape so the fuselage is kind of open. Oh, just, just give me a minute. Pinch it tight. Shaping it. Trust me, it's much easier with full paper. This model is too difficult with any sort of other paper. You, you can attempt, but it's not going to be precise. It's not going to look good. I attempted this multiple times with other things. And uh, I found out that you have to kind of pinch the model very well. And in case you want to, you can inside reversal the tip, but you don't have to. And you just keep the model exactly how it is. You know. So uh, that's basically it. Just continue shaping your model until you're satisfied with it. And also, don't forget. Fold these out. Like that. Might unlock that extra flat, but you know doesn't really matter.
anyway. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, I want to make sure that the wings are level as well, so I'm gonna quickly do that. And, uh, oh, that's basically it. Well, I hope you enjoyed, uh, you should be satisfied with it. I mean, it's a pretty cool model, but it's not going to be 100% precise, you know. It's kind of hard to get it, just like Jason Merrill's, you know, sort of like this. That's what his looks like, but... It holds together best with foil paper. And you actually might want to fold this keel in a little bit. Like that. I don't know, it holds together. There. Well, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. And, uh, well, that's it. So, yeah. Bye.